12 transparent animals you won't believe exist. Number 12, the transparent zebrafish. This species of zebrafish was actually genetically modified by scientists back in 2008. Researchers wanted to be able to view the process of how certain diseases spread, more specifically how cancer spreads. Thus, these little creatures were born, er, made. These transparent zebrafish are allowing the scientists at the Children's Hospital in Boston to study certain processes such as the growth of tumors in living organisms in real time. Number 11, the tortoise shell beetle. While not 100% transparent, the tortoise shell beetle's semi-transparent carapace does actually serve a purpose. Basically, its purpose is to fool any potential predator planning to make a meal out of it by showing off the markings that are located on its back and serving as a warning saying, hey, don't eat me, you'll get really, really sick. Tortoise shell beetles can be found in both the United States and Canada, where they feed off of mostly sweet potatoes and can grow to be around 10 to 13 millimeters long. Number 10, the big skate. Known for being the largest species of the skates, the big skate can be found living along the Pacific coast just off of North America, all the way from Alaska to Baja, California, at depths of up to 390 feet. They can grow to be up to almost 8 feet in length, but they usually don't exceed more than almost 6 feet and can weigh up to 200 pounds. Big skates that are found near Alaska typically live to be up to 15 years old, while those that live near British Columbia are said to live up to 26 years old. What separates these animals from most of the others in their species is that they are oviparous, which means that they are able to have more than just one egg embryo in each egg capsule, also known as a mermaid's purse. They do have a slow reproductive rate and have been classified as near-threatened. Number 9, the transparent snail. This is a fairly new snail that comes equipped with a semi-transparent shell and body that is shaped like a dome, hence the name domed land snail. These snails that are found living in Croatia at 3,000 feet inside the earth are very, very tiny and move very little, approximately a few centimeters a week, according to taxonomist Alexander Wiegand. And all that moving for them is just mostly in a circle. These snails do, however, manage to move about with the help of waterways and hitching onto larger animals for a free ride. Because of the pitch blackness of the caves that they live in, these snails have no pigment and no need for eyes as well. Number eight, the transparent sea cucumber. This species of sea cucumber was discovered not too long ago in the Gulf of Mexico by the researchers who conduct the census of marine life. The sea cucumber is so incredibly transparent that you're able to completely see its digestive tract and it gives off a pinkish hue. It was discovered living at an astounding depth of 9,022 feet. When it was discovered, the scientists noticed that the cucumber was moving at a pace of around two centimeters per minute by using its tentacles and it was sweeping sediment that is detritus rich into its mouth. Number seven, the glass squid. The family classification known as Cranchidae include around 60 different species of glass squid. They get their namesake from the fact that most of them are as transparent as glass. This transparency is actually a very effective defense mechanism that allows them to stay hidden from potential predators because of the fact that they spend most of their lives living in semi-sunlit shallow waters. Glass squids can grow to be anywhere between almost four to 10 feet in length. Many of these species of squid are bioluminescent and have light organs that are located on the undersides of their eyes. Because their digestive gland can still be seen through their transparent skin, they usually hold it in a vertical position to reduce its visibility. Number six, the glass catfish. This species of Asian glass catfish can be found residing in Sumatra, Borneo, the Malay Peninsula, and etc. The small freshwater fish only grows to be almost six inches long and prefers to live in large rivers with peaty waters that have a low temperature for a tropical area, around 70 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. This diurnal catfish survives off a diet of mostly water bugs and sometimes smaller fish by using its two barbells to help them hunt for food. When the sun hits them just right, the glass catfish gives off an iridescent rainbow color. And when it dies, turns into a morbidly milky white color. Number five, the barrel eye fish. This bizarre looking sea creature known as a barrel eye fish, also called a spook fish, gets its name from the barrel shaped form that its eyes have taken. These marine animals are mostly found living in the Indian, Atlantic, and Pacific oceans. They're known for their tropical to temperate waters. Their eyes are highly light sensitive and are set looking upwards in order to see the shadows of its prey. Its head is the transparent dome in which the eyes lie in, and the spots near its mouth aren't actually its eyes, but nares that are similar to our nostrils. Its organs are able to glow 
thanks to the presence of symbiotic bioluminescent bacteria in the water. Number four, the crocodile ice fish. This interesting fish with a ghost-like appearance lives in the southern regions of the ocean near South America, Antarctica, and New Zealand. It's here that they survive in the water's freezing temperatures thanks to the antifreeze that is produced by their body. What makes this fish remarkably unique is that they are the only vertebrates in the entire world who don't produce any hemoglobin. For those of you that aren't familiar, hemoglobin is a protein that your body produces that's found in your blood and helps carry oxygen. Thanks to the ice cold temperatures of where they live, they don't need hemoglobin because cold water has a higher dissolved oxygen content than warm water. They also possess nearly invisible blood. Number three, the glass winged butterfly. Known by its two popular nicknames in Spanish, espejitos, which means little mirrors, and mariposa de cristal, the crystal butterfly. This butterfly with transparent wings can be found living in the Latin American countries of Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, and etc. Like most butterflies, they only grow to be relatively small and have a wingspan of around 2.2 and 2.4 inches. Glass winged butterflies are known for the great distances that they often have to migrate to and have been spotted up north as far as Mexico and Texas. The males are known for gathering in large groups in order to perform their mating displays and compete with one another. Number two, transparent mice. It was back in 2014 when researchers at the California Institute of Technology discovered a new way to view the various internal systems of dead mice. They created a technique that they call PARS, which stands for Perfusion Assisted Agent Release in Situ. Basically, what this is, is that the mice are injected with a substance known as hydrogel and pumps it into the veins of the already deceased mice. The hydrogel creates a support system that is made up of polymer chains so that the lipids can be removed from the body without it completely collapsing. The process occurs during a two week period and scientists say this could aid in studying anatomy even more in depth. Before we get to number one, let us know in the comments below which one of these you didn't even know existed and don't forget to subscribe. Number one, the pram bug. Considered to be only semi-transparent, the inch long Phronema crustacean happens to dwell all over the world's oceans except for in the polar regions. Don't let its small stature fool you, but these tiny parasitoids lack in size, they make up for in being quite vicious. Female pram bugs will hunt marine animals called salps and use their claws and mouths to feast on their insides. That's not the worst part. Once the animal's completely hollow, the female lays her eggs in the salps corpse that will act as a mobile nest and provide her newborns with fresh food and water. <laughs>